But I want to say one thing before we start the immigrant shit, cuz. Now you got all these people begging the gang members, the same people y'all despise, to come out and help y'all. Go call y'all fucking Navy. Go call y'all fucking police. <laughs> Stop begging us. We in the trenches and we ain't tripping. Hey, bro. Them niggas ain't tripping. It's another motherfucking thing, but they're using gang members where y'all at. We need y'all help. Right. Now y'all want the warriors. But That's when right. we was warriors for whatever we want to be warriors for, <laughs> it was a fucking problem. Niggas now y'all want to help. Go get y'all fucking guns and get out there. Y'all want niggas to risk they self. I'm not saying that... They automatically wrong, but gamers is gonna hold their own regardless. So if they come tripping, we tripping. But at the end of the day, <laughs> don't start begging for niggas now. Y'all need niggas. Go get a fucking funds and go pay these gangs then. If y'all want niggas to go troop for y'all. I'm just looking at it. Hey, that's know. wild that you say that, because I'ma find a post. Hell's Angels coming to Aurora, supposedly. I'ma find really? a, I'ma find they a said post. They're going to Aurora, supposedly. That I made there. years ago. Mind you, I made this post years ago on oh, my man. kids, nigga. When I said <laughs> when shit hits the fan. Watch how these civilians turn to the gang members and beg for help. I swear to God, call me the prophet, call me the, uh, call me whatever you want, but I already foreseen this coming. Yeah, we talk about this a lot. It's crazy, though, but it's like now the same people y'all despise, y'all won't come to help y'all. Y'all want, niggas to, y'all want niggas to load up and risk their life, even though y'all been against niggas this whole motherfucking time. Y'all they, they, Because y'all the only niggas that's going to fight, not flight. That's yeah, how they feel nah, about it. Yeah, no, that's fact. I swear to <laughs> you. That's, that's how they feel about it. Yeah, I'm going to find that post because I made it on Facebook, and Facebook got time stamps, <laughs> it got year stamps, it got day stamps, it got hour stamps, so y'all can see I'm not capping. But these motherfucking migrants, man, California lawmakers approve a bill to extend the home mortgage aid to undocumented immigrants. So the California Assembly gave final approval Wednesday to a bill that could help undocumented immigrants in California buy homes. So basically, they're pricing out actual citizens and they're giving out loans up to $150,000. They're covering up to 20% of the cost of the closing costs and the migrant got to put 0% down. So they basically tossing them a house tossing them up to 150 bands, paying up to 20% of the down payment and saying the only thing we want in return is your vote. Hey, I claim immigrant now, cuz. Give me my motherfucking 150 bands. So, 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 Cal yeah. so California, not only California, if you look what's going on in Colorado, these Venezuelans taking over a whole fucking apartment complexes. You look at Chicago, these Venezuelans taking over a whole apartment complexes. And I see people, like bro said, asking, well, where the gang members? Where's O Block? Where the GDs? Y'all been sliding on each other, slide on these, mi these migrants. <laughs> not only are they taking over, the migrants is sliding. These niggas outside with machetes, they running up in these apartment buildings with AKs. AKs. Bro, they just uh, man down somebody, if you follow the Chirac drill scene, from No Limit. Uh, uh, um, no Limit Cairo, he just got caught with a switch and a stolen and, and a stoley sliding around looking for migrants, apparently, trying to get some get back. You feel me? So it's real serious in Chicago. They actually going to war with these these fucking Venezuelans out there. But if you know anything about what happened in Venezuela, the government basically took all their most violent criminals and sent them here. So the crime rate in Venezuela is now basically zero because all their rapists, all their, their murderers, all their kidnappers, robbers, they're all here now. They're your neighbors now. These motherfuckers running around with these machetes and these caves, they let them over here now. So that's why you see them running amok and the police... I believe they got orders to like let this shit happen. That's what I was finna say. Yeah, I was finna say, is. let's look deeper into that because Johnny ain't doing nothing. Let that have been black people, they would have fucking immediately put a whole fucking task force against us to shut that shit down. There's this shit is on video. You seeing a lot of different shit going on. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers ain't doing nothing. Ain't nobody responding. You mean to tell me they don't have secret forces or these motherfucking Navy SEALs and all this other shit to go shut that shit down when they want to? Fine. You allow something to come in your in your country, or wherever supposedly, and, and now it's an uproar for people. And a lot of this stuff, too, I'm not going to lie that I've seen. A lot of people I've seen in comments and different things are saying, like, man, where is this really going on at? Not saying that it's not happening, but some of the places that they're projecting, it's not even happening yet. So they could be putting that out there as to say, this is where they're going to start sending people. You know what I mean? Start sending the, uh, and it's, and start it's sending not, the immigrants. And it's not just here. Well, if you look what's going on in the UK, these motherfuckers is out there having UK straight tripping. machete wars. They That's out true. there poking shit. I seen a video. Dude was walking with his, with his kid in a stroller and his wife. The damn migrant come up, bang him in the neck. 
Next five minutes, they drive by. They're recording him laughing. Then you see the migrant the next day back out on the streets. Like, you think the police don't see this? They got cameras that can see everything. Florida just showed y'all. They got cameras that can see everywhere. They can see everything. They can pinpoint your cell phone. They can pinpoint your house with these ring cameras. They know what's going on. They just sort of sitting back, letting the chaos happen because what these powers to be do is... They cause the problem, they cause the the issue, they cause the panic, and then when you're scared shitless and you like, oh my God, please help me, now they come in like, okay, they want to look the, like the savior. We got yeah. the solution. Only thing you got to do is just do what we say. Let us We're going to provide to safety. Hey, just at, do what we at say. At this point, it's a sense of urgency. Man, urgen- you better jump your ass in, hey, bro. Nah, it's, oh, a, it's a sense of urgency. <laughs> Load the fuck up. Stack, <laughs> up. stack up on your guns. Stack up on your choppers because that's what the fuck is going on. You need to protect your home at the end of the fucking day. Load up. No, to me, this is, a this is you know, we got to attack the root problem, which is policy. When you think about, like, even a war when we had on drugs, right? It's, it's all about policy. But instead, what the officials will do is create some task force that's really going to go and target people who are innocent and then cause more turmoil in the community. Meanwhile, the drugs, the violence still run rampant and they continue to do what they do. Oh, yeah. So I think we attack the smaller problem when we have it. We should talk to attack the bigger problem, which is policy, which is making immigration and the border, you know, harder to access and to get into America. But instead, like I said, we're going to create a task force for Colorado and they're going to go and arrest a whole bunch of people that more than likely are innocent or maybe just looked apart, et cetera, because that's what they did with us on the war on drugs. If you think about it, a lot of innocent black men and women were targeted. There's no through. there's no one who's innocent, nigga. They're all illegal immigrants. They're all criminals, really. Okay. See, so and and I, I understand what you're saying to a certain degree because they are here illegally. I, Therefore they're not break they're not doing what I'm saying is they're not some of them aren't raping. Stop. Some of them aren't Listen, killing. Listen, this is Some one of those moments those where there's no room to humanize these people. Because if you give somebody an inch, oh, well, not all of them. Our society is geared to like, oh, okay, they're not so bad. Let's let our guard down. That's how we got to this point. Because if we have been said, no, those people across the, like Trump, they're murderers, they're rapists, they're this, they're that. Guess what? If people would have really... If there wouldn't have been all these people apologizing and they're not all bad people, no, I America would have rejected them at the border I agree and we wouldn't be saying. doing it. I'm they just are, that are an invading, here. whether they're here or not, they are an invading force. We know that the, they're majorly comprised of criminals. We know that. Trump told us, and now look at the statistics that back it up. What we have to do is uh, there's a guy, Mao Zedong, he said, politics is war without bloodshed. We still have. A political solution for this. The only thing we have to do is stop having this mindset like politics doesn't matter and actually get behind somebody. Politics don't matter. Uh, uh, let me let me let me say this. The only okay. thing the only thing I disagree with with that is to say that the United States wouldn't allow certain shit. If you if you knew they was releasing these people from they country or wherever the fuck they right. was at, they knew these was the most violent criminals or whatever. Why did they allow them to initiate to, to even come here in the first place? And I, to say that I'm saying that, but the United States is going to do their homework. You can't even leave a fucking country I, or go to certain places without a passport, your, without certain shit to even be documented. So, so to allow them to come in here and do what they're doing, it has to be by a bigger agenda. It has to be a whole fucking plan for that it's shit. It's not that complicated. Kamala Harris is funded by drug <laughs> cartels from Central America. We know this already, bro. They got uh, you in her political so life. In her political, in her political life, she's received almost three hundred million dollars from. So it is. A I don't give a fuck Wait, about Kamala. Hold on, real quick. Let me just because there's some people want to actually learn something from this. It's like this nigga look. Crazy. Listen, Cut basically saying you ain't teaching shit. No, no, no. Get I ain't tell, no, no, get, no, 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 how much did we generate for Kamala Harris? Eight million dollars. Mm-hmm. The next day, Voto Latino and Turlet LA came and said, "We gonna give you sixty million dollars." So when you look at Kamala, she's uh, they claim she's black. She's not. She's Indian. Bro, why what that got white, to do with the immigrants on. coming over here? Listen, <laughs> why would a white and Indian woman be so damn passionate 
about letting a bunch of illegal Hispanic people into America. I agree with you. She's being paid to do that. Joe Biden is also being paid. So all we're saying is, one, if you want to do politics in America and if you want shit to go in your favor, you need to start coughing up some money because eight million. So basically, ain't shit let's to be real, cuz ain't no bitch controlling nothing. She's not running nothing. She's the puppet in the forefront. That's not she, true. She you think she calling shots? Look at the sheriffs of California. Do you yeah. think she calling Listen shots? Listen to what I'm telling you. The California sheriffs, the ones who, who run the counties on the border, the they way. all came together and said, Kamala Harris is not allowing us to prosecute. Drug cartel members when they get caught that's cool, but the that's cool. But she's the face, everything come from the top. That's down. all I'm saying. It's the same bro. thing like yeah. your job. Your the, the president send the orders down, and guess what? It, it goes through a chain of command, yes. and your supervisor delivers the message. So, to the average worker, the hourly wage worker, oh, this came from my supervisor. No, this came from the top down, and your owner gets it from the shareholders. So, the shareholders are like, hey, but we got to meet this profit margin. Boom, 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 boom. Figure this out. Let me ask then you the goes, boom, 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 boom. Wait, wait, wait. Figure this out. I ask Send you a that to the you managers, get... and then no. they send that to the workers, and they no. give you the order. Let me ask you a question. He doesn't Let call no fucking shots. Let nigga. me ask you this question. If that's the case, which you guys say is true, why did Barack Obama have record deportation? True. Donald Trump had record deportation. Barack o uh, Biden and Kamala get in. They stop the deportation, bring more people in, and Trump is now, if he get elected, going to start deporting again. I'm going to tell you why. You more, you more lost in the sauce than I thought. I'm going to tell you yeah. why. Okay. It's a famous quote. I got to look up the exact guy. We give you your villains, and we give you your heroes. So the people that you champion, they work for us too. But we giving them to you. So you think they working for you. Really, they still working for us. It's the same type of thing. We're going to give you the villain. Oh, my God. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? Oh, shit. So what's the name? Came and did this and that. Motherfuckers, two sides of the same coin. Uh, yeah, they on the, I, they on the get, same fucking team. You get what I'm saying, though, about we need to attack what you're saying, which is the immigration policies that we have. But instead of doing that, we're going to create some sort of artificial solution within Aurora, Colorado to make it look that way. Meanwhile, what you're saying, because I'm agreeing with you. Meanwhile, Kamala is still going to get paid. Crime is still going to run rampant. Immigration is still going to, you know what I mean, proceed. But they're going to have a, a targeted, uh, what would you call it, like a, a, a um, squad or whatever it is that's going to target, in my opinion, people who aren't even a part of those gangs. They're not going to Because that's do... what happened in the hood. Shout Listen, out to Billy a, Carson, man. When a, crack hit, in, it hit into the hood, a lot of motherfuckers were... Racial profile this, man, arrested. Shout out to Billy Carson, that even though he tried to shit on one, one, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. One at a time, one at a time. It's a false equivalency. It's, the reality is, why is Colorado like the way it is? Because Colorado is run by Democrats. I'm agreeing with Aurora you. Aurora is run by Democrats. So the Democrats want illegal immigration because they want that vote in 2028. I'm agreeing Democrats are trying to implement socialism. How better to implement it than to bring a bunch of people from a socialist country, bring them into your country, and allow them to vote? That's, that's the whole thing. Republicans are against socialism. So you, everyone says... Why are you so sure about what you're saying? Because I can look at the policies. Okay. I can look at the policies. And back to what we always so, say, only well, the policies are what they well, tell us, well, right? Well, here's the reality. We're <laughs> we not sitting in listen, them damn rooms with their ass and what they fuck they plan What I'm going to tell you is, we could keep saying how don't nothing matter. The Mexicans still coming across the border, and we know who we know who flew 500,000 of them into this country. They've been coming before that, listen, so it don't, it don't matter. Donald Trump deported a record number of illegals. Obama deported a record of, uh, of illegals. Obama is the one who actually put the study in process that showed that elite wait that showed that illegal immigration primarily impacts black the Americans. African American community. This so where, for me to listen you, to black people say none of it matters. Who you vote for matters. This is where your contradiction is. All right. You say who, who you vote for matters, but then on the same token, gonna say, man, if we don't pay them some bread, they're not doing nothing for us. So what it sounds like is it's pay to play, not vote. Because it don't matter who you vote for. If you're not putting money in their pockets, it doesn't matter. That's why I said shout out to Billy Carson because he basically broke all this down already, which mm. common yeah. sense ain't common because you yeah, still he, acting like it ain't common. He, he, he already a, told you, hey, you ever wonder why certain people keep running for president every presidency knowing for a fact that they're not going to win? It's because they're getting that campaign money. They're getting that campaign money they and they, they pocket in that shit. They know they're going to lose. <laughs> they get in the race. They raise as much money as they can. And when they can raise no more money, they know they're not going to win. They're just going to drop out. Billy, but guess what? Nobody's going to trace where that campaign Billy, money went. Billy Carson 
plays on the fact that most people won't go past their first thought. So the reality is, with right now, black people have to al align with the white conservative because the white conservatives are willing to put up the money to fund someone like Donald Trump. Donald Trump is having no problem getting campaign money, but that's because millionaires and billionaires who support Trump's agenda, they're contributing to him. What I'm saying is, for now, since we don't want to pay our own way, we're going to have to sneak in the back with the white folks that's supporting what would benefit us. Now, in the future, four years, eight years from now, we need to start putting together our own super PACs. It, we keep saying it don't matter, and the black man has to stop with this nothing matters attitude because other groups have super PACs. Let me middle, ask you this. Let middle, me ask you this. Hold on. Arabs in, in Michigan, they got super PACs in Detroit and all that. Asians have super PACs, even in Georgia. Mexicans have super PACs. We the only niggas with no super PACs. Man, fuck all that. Let's get matters. down to the root. Let's matters. get down to the rooters. Did you not hear what I just said? 